Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls 2. So first off, one thing that we forgot to do was actually attune the extra dark orbs we got. So now we have three separate attunement slots of that for a whopping 63 dark orbs. And don't worry, soon we'll be getting some different spells. I believe we've got one more area. I can't remember what area the next, uh, or what area, what order the next areas come in, which is a little bit uh, disconcerting as somebody who considers himself fairly familiar with this game, but we're getting close to the area where we'll be able to farm up a uh, staff that is a lot better. Hopefully, anyway, it would be really disappointing if we, like, exhausted the spawns of the enemies that dropped this good staff and they never dropped it. But, uh, that would be pretty unlikely, I think, I hope. So anyway, we're gonna run right past Nashandra again. We already spoke with her in the previous episode. And this boss is a pretty good place to get humanity back, hopefully, you know. I've had trouble summoning and being summoned in this series. Seems like that curse carries over from Dark Souls 1 and that it's nearly impossible to do uh, any co-op when you're recording. But anyway, I'm going to cut the video here and see if I can get summoned here. And I'll see you guys pretty soon, hopefully. Alright, and here we are in Hatsune Miku's world. <laughs> Miku's world. I think that's a character from some anime, I can't think of which one. But it looks like probably a cosplay. Hello there. We've also got Witch Hazel. Witch Hazel, is that a uh, NPC phantom? Nah, I don't think so. Um, but I'm all ready to go. She's buffing her weapon. I'm not going to buff my weapon for this fight because I find it more useful to have some range here, especially if you're um, in a group, because hopefully these guys are going to uh, just distract the, uh, the main dude for me while I kill this ranger. And that makes this a million times easier we can get this guy dead quickly so he's focused on me so I'll just go ahead and pull out a weapon and he's dead alright and now we'll just take out this guy this is one of those bosses that is incredibly easy if you are in a group and actually kind of difficult if you're not uh, I, I find it difficult to deal with the um, the aggro of both of them at once uh, we might end up doing it solo depending on how easy it is to find somebody but uh, I wouldn't mind doing some summoning for this fight. No! You fool, what were you thinking? She just stood there and let him kill her. Okay, so now uh, now I'm missing a whole bunch of spells, but that shouldn't be a problem. God, that's what a pain in the ass, though. I just want to go human. Wow. What a fucking moron. We had it. The boss was dead. All she had to do was not stand in the way of his attack and not block. But anyway... I guess we're going to wait for another uh, summon, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, this summon was actually quite quick, luckily. Uh, probably we just had to build up our IP, IP pool, IP pool, uh, IP pool a little bit after, um, you know, after turning on the game, because I had just turned on the game when I started the video. So uh, now we should be getting invasions or um, summons a little bit more easily. So I'll wait for this guy to be ready. He's probably trying to summon somebody else, and they're beaming in right now. Yep. Leia Darkstar, how's it going? Wow, that is, uh, that's an impressive outfit. She's, oh, she's cosplaying Princess Leia, of course. That's pretty sweet. You know, obviously you can't have a bikini made out of metal, but it's, you know, similar. I like it. I wonder what her hair is like. She probably couldn't find a hairstyle that's anything like Leia, so she's just wearing a hood. Works. Oh, what am I doing? I should be, uh, tackling this fellow up here. My <laughs> spells don't even reach him from that distance. The, uh, the range of Dark Orb is, like, surprisingly horrible. By the way, we're doing a shitload of, uh, damage with Dark Orb because of the fact that- Uh-oh. Okay, he's alright. Uh, the fact that we're wearing this Abyss Seal, which, uh, takes a little bit of health away from us, as you guys can see, uh, every time we cast a spell, but also does a shitload of damage. Uh, it increases our damage by 20%, which is absolutely worth it. You know, in this whole boss battle, we're going to take less than half of our health, and I could have asked this any time I want, so worth. And there we go. That guy didn't uh, just get himself killed right at the end of the fight, so that's good. And again, we will try to summon for this fight because it uh, makes it a lot easier just to have somebody to uh, share aggro with you, because otherwise, killing that archer up there is really hard. Dodging his arrows and the other guy's arrow, uh, attacks is really hard. I'm just not sure what to do about it if I don't have a friend... And uh, one of us needs a ranged attack. There's Witch Hazel. I wonder, That sounds like an NPC name, and she was in that other fight, so I wonder if she is an NPC. I wouldn't know. I've never summoned her before. It's hard to tell. 
Hello, Witch Hazel. Do you wave at me? That's a good way to tell. Uh, that is definitely a player. Alright, and it doesn't look like anybody else is around, so I'm just gonna go ahead and head in. Yeah, she's ready. And uh, this time I will see if I can pull the aggro of this guy away because I came in first. And excellent, she will kill the archer for me. And uh, this guy's just the dragon rider, same as we fought in Hyde's Tower of Flame. Super easy. And I'm just gonna trust that she has aggro of that other guy and uh, give this guy some guff. Oh, Jesus. She's actually having trouble with him. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a bad sign. I'm gonna see if I can sneak. Uh, oops, I tried to equip Dark Orb, but it didn't work out. There we go. Alright. Watch out with Chazel. But now the rest of the fight is super easy, regardless of what happens. Uh, you know, if Witch Hazel dies, it'll be sad for her, but, uh, not the end of the world by any stretch of the imagination. Just keeping aggro. Looks like she might be out of spells, actually. She was in that, uh, fight where the host just died at the very end. She might not have gone human yet, so she's still on her old, like, number of souls. We've got a Dragon Rider soul. Thank you very much, Witch Hazel. Super easy fight with two people. Very difficult fight with one person. It's one of those, like, Ornstein and Smoey kind of battles. But there we go, all done with that, and we're going to head back to Majula and spend some of these near-infinite souls. Let's see if uh, Chloen has anything new for us. I know at a certain point she starts selling Titanite chunks and stuff, and it might be nice to buy some of those and upgrade my shield more, but um, I'm not sure if she has them yet. You've been long well. Yeah, I've been long away, whatever. Um, yeah, she's selling large Titanite shards now, but nothing else. She also has some more dialogue, so we should definitely listen to that. These stones may look all the same, but to the trained eye, each is unique. It's a, some it's of not them a stone, that's like an arm. Weapons and armor. Or a foot. And some unique stones provide mm. special benefits. <laughs> special benefits. Some of them are extremely rare and should be used with great thrift. None of the differences are easily spotted. But I've learned quite a lot, really. <laughs> you know how they call this place Drang Lake, right? Well, in the old lore, in stories and the like, they said it had another name. What was it? Well, I don't know. It's just something I heard. I'm not sure if she's talking about Lordran or... Ago, Many kingdoms Hide. have risen and fallen on this very spot. Each like a great flame that turns to soot. Maybe that's why people don't remember much about the past. You see that blacksmith over there? Is he one of those hollows? He seems to keep eyeing me up. He sort of looks like my father. He's a blacksmith too, you see. The poor man's such a worrywart. But he wouldn't follow me out here, would he? <laughs> Super weird uh, element of the story. That's definitely her dad, and for some reason they just never talk. She just sits I right was outside. Born in a land to the west, Bolgan, famous for its merchants. There were great bustling cities. But for me, they were suffocating. And so I set out in search of stones in faraway lands. There are dangers for certain, but I much prefer to live this way. But for the life of me, I can't remember how I ended up here. It's as if I were drawn to the place or lured in. Oh, I don't know. These stones may look all the huh. same. I guess I need to talk to her a no little bit later. At some point, she'll give us a present yourself. for uh, listening to her dialogue, but now is not that time. Do we have... What level is my shield? Plus eight. So we would need three Titanite chunks. I'm almost certain I don't have that. Yeah, we only have one. And no need to go invading again just for that. Later on, we'll probably go invading to there get... Uh, the curse. To get what we need to upgrade my new staff. Seek the king. Yes, yes, yes. 
Let's go ahead and level up. And we need, yeah, I want this to 20 if at all possible. So we'll start leveling. Now that it's at 10, we'll start getting some major agility per level. Before, like, before 10, it gives you almost nothing for some strange reason. And then after 10, it starts giving you some more agility, which is nice. We're going to head back to Central Castle Drain Lake. I just realized, like, mousing over all that stuff, I missed a lot of areas. Well, didn't miss. You know, purposefully avoided because I'm trying to make this a fairly efficient playthrough. I don't want to just do a lot of wandering. Um, but it's surprising how many places we haven't visited. Though there's still more to do as well. We're not... By no means are we near the end of the game. And it's possible I'll find reasons to backtrack to some of those areas. But a lot of them are just tiny areas that have one bonfire and uh, take up a whole spot on that screen for some reason. Anyway, so that was an elevator down there. It is not active. We actually need to come in here and trigger this golem. So I'm going to wake up two of these guys, I guess. Probably should have uh, dark weaponed it up. I don't know why my shield didn't go up there. Nor why it took so long for it to go up. It's the adaptability, man. Like, the, the lower your agility, the longer it takes for you to raise your shield and stuff like that. Little things like that, you never notice them until you have it and then don't. Um, but anyway, now it's going to try to make us go through an annoying area, but we're just going to Homeward Boner out of here after um, getting a couple of things. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Let my stamina run out. I'm surprised all three of these guys woke up, but hey. Shit happens. These twin blades are crazy, man. Oh, no. Thought I could stagger them. I could not. Kill that guy and then kill this guy. Excellent. Now this guy should be super easy. Looks like we got a Titanite slab or maybe a stone twin blade. Or are these spears? Maybe some of these guys use spears. I know there is a stone twin blade and people consider it the best twin blade. There's a Lelwyn shield. Huh. That might actually be really good. Hang on. Because I... Uh, Mastodon... Lewin shield, a small shield fashioned from rare, rare guy steel, a masterpiece of the great blacksmith Lewin that he br brought along as a gift when he left Mira for Drang Lake. What's the stats on that? Eh, pretty bad. But it's light and uh, has low requirements. But we already have a better shield that has higher requirements, but we meet the requirements for it, so we might as well use it. Let's go ahead and grab some stuff here. Is one of these a mimic? I think so. No. Might be a trap, though. Not that one. Old Knight Hammer. And I think this one has a uh, Great Magic Weapon. Which is a really cool spell. Or Soul Great Sword. Not, sorry, not Great Magic Weapon. Soul Great Sword. Oh, Kaitha's Charm actually strikes a bell with me. Is that the... Uh... Yeah, it's a Hex-dedicated catalyst. Cannot be used to cast Miracles. Uh, so if we wanted to keep two separate uh, catalysts, that would be the one to go to for casting chime hexes. Yeah, we're not going to go in here because there's actually not much useful in there. And the game tries to like write you, route you through there and make you go through uh, a bunch of annoying stuff to get back to where you were. But kind of the cheat is just use a homeward bone and then you end up back where we activated that elevator. And that's a lot faster and we won't benefit from going through that area anyway, so we might as well. Somebody's got a summon sign down here. That's weird. Uh, it's Te'urn! Not much of a speed run if you're sitting around getting uh, summoned. Uh, what's up here? Ah, yeah. That's just out to the uh, the same ramparts that would be, we would be going to otherwise. But just an unnecessary part of Castle Drang Lake. Instead, I'm going to keep on going to the next boss and uh, keep our pace up, basically. This is a nice, long elevator ride to uh, let us contemplate life. Get a close-up of the Jester's Mask, if at all possible. Jester's Mask is so awesome. I really like the way it looks. It is pretty sweet. Anyway, so we're going to ride up to the top here, and then we're going to um, find something kind of disturbing, but also find the, the key to the door down at the base of this elevator, and then we'll be able to move on to, uh, like, again, the next boss. Here we are. We'll just pop this door open. 
And what the fuck is that? This guy, his lore is a little questionable. I don't know why he's like here regarding this lady, but he uh, he decided that his like his flesh was impure or something and just wanted to die. So you can see his face is a keyhole. And later on, we uh, well we find the key, <laughs> and that's how you get in there. Super fucking weird. I don't know what the deal with that is at all. But we're going to grab some useful things up here. Key to the King's Passage. And the King's Passage is like a back way out of the castle that um, King, Ven King Vendrick used to escape. We've also got a soul vessel, which would allow us to respec if we didn't like the way we put our points in. But I do like the way I put my points in, despite the descent of some commenters. And Strong Magic Shield is a... Uh, I think it's a sorcery that protects you from elements. I can't remember. Might be a miracle. I'm pretty sure it's a sorcery. Nothing we're going to be concerned with, though. That stuff is more for PvP than PvE. At least, generally speaking. Alright, so we're going to ride this long-ass fucking elevator back down, and then we'll be heading into the King's Passage, and, uh tracking Vendrick down basically because he left the castle and nobody knows where he's gone well everybody knows where he's gone it's down the King's Passage but now that we have the key we can follow him and uh, we'll have to overcome some challenges that he set up to kind of guard his escape namely lots of living statues because that was kind of Vendrick's thing we're gonna I should actually uh Get some dark weapon going on for this area, because why not? Oh shit, I fucking triggered these guys, damn it. Oh no! That's the binoculars! I always forget that I have my fucking binoculars equipped. I never use them, I should take them off. Whoa! Okay, this is bad. <laughs> this guy can, in one hit, take away all of my stamina. Which is, for obvious reasons, yeah, I think I might be fucked. Uh, because I let these guys... Okay, they're backing off. That's good. Which is, I can't fight four of these guys at once. One or two, no problem. Four? Eh, that's a little questionable. Let's see if I can... Uh, I was going to try to give this guy the old backstab. Oh, well, we'll do it. Oh, apparently not. <laughs> okay. Maybe these guys are unbackstabable. I'm not sure. Oh, shit. That was a big mistake. Oh, man. Come on over here, buddy. Fuck it. Dark orb. There we go. That's how you do it. These guys are probably pretty physically resistant. So this Leywin set is like a really light armor that's supposed to be really good for its weight. I have never used it. Might be better than the Jester set as far as stats are concerned, but it doesn't have any of the bonuses, so I'm not too interested in it. This guy really needs to like let his shield down. Damn it. <laughs> Come on, man. Okay, hopefully you'll go on a little bit of a rampage here. Ah, uh, there we go. Got a hit in. It's perfect. There's a lot of spells, but that's okay, because we're not really going to be using them on the boss anyway. And here's one more horseman. Take him out. And this boss is super fucking interesting. He is the Looking Glass Knight. I'm looking around for um, summons, but I don't see any, unfortunately. Oh, I forgot about these items entirely. We got some Twinkling Tide Knight, a Soul of a Proud Knight, and a Life Gem. Excellent. So we'll take that stuff. And also, probably a good idea to use a Life Gem to top off my health. We do have 60 of them, so no need to be frugal. And I'm going to go ahead and dark weapon it up for this guy. This guy has incredibly high uh, resistances for basically everything. Oh, no, I'm wearing binoculars. Got to fix that right now. All right, shield out. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> the lack of invincibility frames is fucking killing me here. Um, but anyway, this guy is super interesting because he can summon players to, uh, to fight with him. If you put down a red sign soapstone in this area, then you can come through this guy's mirror into a boss fight and invade that way. And it is not nice. Okay, we need to get away from him when he does the, uh, 
the lightning thing because that has a deceptively large range when he does that. Uh, okay, I was afraid he was going to give us another hit there, but we're fine. Oh shit, now he's going to, of course. Ah uh, man, the other annoying thing about this guy is that his shield is just literally invincible to everything. If you hit his shield, um, then it will negate the attack. And also, reflect spells which can actually hit you or your friends. Shit. Man, that is super fucking annoying, isn't it? Uh oh, he's going to summon a friend. It could be an NPC, it could be an actual player. Um, looks like an NPC, probably. Yeah, I think this is an NPC, because a player would not attack like that unless they were real dumb. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, shit! That was bad. Okay, heal up. No! Damn it. Very unlucky with that last attack. Not really a lot I could have done there. Well, except for not get hit that one time, but once I got hit that one time, the fight was basically over. No way I'm going to be able to heal up enough. Anyway, let's give that another shot. It's very helpful, obviously, to have a summon on this fight, but, well, now I'm not human anymore, so that's not in the cards, I guess. Uh, but, let's go ahead and kill all of these dudes again. And no big deal, we'll be able to get our souls back really quickly, at the very least. And we should just wail on this first guy before he wakes up. And the second guy too, I guess. Yeah, that was way easier. I guess they take extra damage before they wake up. I didn't really know that. Okay, we're gonna just get away. This guy uh, luckily runs a lot faster than the other guy, which splits them up a little bit. Okay, don't take all my stamina away, buddy. There we go. Easy. Now we'll finish off this guy this way. Hmm. <laughs> it really should have been a backstab, but alright. There we go. Backstab acquired. And he is dead. Alright. So, very easy lead up to this boss, at least. So even if you fuck up, it doesn't feel that bad. Again, going to be using Dark Weapon for this guy. Because the, uh... The hexes are not the greatest idea because this guy is great at gap closing, as you guys saw last time. And also, are you fucking with me? That not only hit me, but went through my shield. Alrighty, uh, that's totally fine, I guess. Go ahead and Estus up while I have the chance here. Uh, the hexes actually bounce off of his shield, so it's uh, very difficult to attack effectively that way. Where the fuck did my bloodstain go? There it is, it got right next to the door somehow. Okay, that time it didn't hit me, thank god. Back off for the lightning. That was not good. I did not expect to be doing a two-part attack there. I always forget the sprinting attack of the Falchion is what I expect the R2 attack to be. Okay, time to back off. Oh my god. <laughs> So frustrating. The moveset of the Falchion seems to be just horrible for this guy because it always hits his shield as far as I can tell. We like have to be fully on his left side to actually get a, get a successful attack off. Uh oh. I'm not sure how you're supposed to dodge that one. Let's <laughs> just get around him. Fuck, he's gonna summon another friend. Stop it. Stop summoning friends. No. You're not allowed to have friends, you're a looking glass knight. Alright, we gotta kill this guy quickly. Ah, oh, that was supposed to be a backstab! It was giving me invincibility frames! Ah, uh, fuck. Dark weapon. Or, uh, dark orb. That was weird. I somehow missed this guy and hit the looking glass name, but then. Oh, God! How did my fucking shield change? I did not press that button. Okay, please no Rangerino. He did the Rangerino. But we'll go ahead and heal up, and let's just try Dark Orbs, I guess, because fucking the Falchion just never hits. <laughs> Which is very frustrating. Yeah, we can get some hits in when he does that, which is nice. We're actually doing major damage to him. I thought this guy had really good Dark Resistance, but I guess 
Maybe I'm just doing that much damage. We do have the Abyss Ring on, which is quite good. He's also doing a very poor job actually utilizing his shield against these hexes, which is unusual. I guess it's actually harder to land uh, spells and hexes in multiplayer, or like with a with a summon. Um, ah, come on, that didn't hit me. Uh, because like the summon will turn him around, and a lot of the time I'll just miss, like keep on hitting his shield with hexes because my summon pulls him around at the last moment, so his shield's in my way. I can't move, by the way. I just thought you guys would be interested in that. Totally incapable of moving there. He trapped me between the shield, his shield and the wall. All right, just watch out for the ring. Um, and we're just gonna. Oh, it ended. Excellent. Uh, no, don't do that. Don't make another dude. Now we have to kill this guy. It might be safer to go for the looking glass tonight, but it might also be safer to go for this way. I'm not sure. Oh, come on! Okay. There we go. Excellent. Don't hit me. He should be dead now. Oh, come the fuck on. <laughs> I just barely didn't finish my spell. Right, don't kill me. Like that. Oh, yeah. No! I forgot that I'm hurting myself with my spells. I killed myself with my own fucking spell. And as a result of that, we did not beat the boss. Ah, oh, fuck that shit, man. That is super frustrating. No! I can't believe I did that. Ah, oh, the boss was over. God damn it. I should have just healed. But I, I was afraid if I healed, if I like gave him a chance... He would end my life before I finished healing, which is a reasonable concern, I'm sure you guys will agree, because that happens a lot in Dark Souls 2, because healing takes so goddamn long in this game. So, like, I felt like healing was the the uh, worst option. I've never been killed by that ring before. This is a first. Very exciting. You all were here to witness it. God, that's so fucking stupid. <laughs> It should be like a soul ring, it should be non-lethal, man. Alright, oh, I was gonna knock his shield away, but that works too. Oh, come on. There we go, alright. So in we go again. Back to the fucking looking glass night. And again, this time, no dark or, or uh, no dark weapon, because that doesn't really seem to work that well on this guy, because the Falchion's moveset just doesn't hit him. So we'll... Oh, fuck. Okay. That, hey, I actually uh, managed to roll through an attack using my iframes. It's exciting. Oh, that's going to bounce. Yep. Dude, super easy until he fucking summons a friend. Or does crazy lightning attacks. Nice try. Alright. This time we've got it. I promise. What could possibly stop me? I'm just trying to tempt fate as much as possible. <laughs> that almost hit his shield. I'm afraid he's gonna come around and hit me. Ah, oh, fuck. I always think that uh, that attack's hitbox is not gonna be what it is. Fuck. <laughs> I thought he was swinging his shield the other way. Let's go ahead and do some damage to him while he's doing that. He's nearly dead. Alright, now let's find a safe moment to stun log this man. Uh oh. Fuck. I was trying to roll, but I couldn't get out of my animation in time. I really wish that I could hit the Phantom as well. That would make this a lot more fair. Okay. He's gotta take it slow and easy. He's gotta find an opportunity when both neither of these guys is gonna fucking hit me. 
This is not that time. Fuck! How did he do that next attack so quickly? Uh oh, I've lost uh, window focus. Okay, I'm back. That was scary. <laughs> oh man, now I need to heal, but like, when am I gonna get a chance when neither of these guys is gonna hit me? I have to just kill that guy. And then, I have to hope that I don't get killed by this. And then, I need to heal. Alright. Everything in its proper order. I can't believe he dodged that attack. <laughs> At least I dodged as well. Okay. Give me an opening, man. There we go. One more attack. Just don't kill yourself with it. There we go. Looking Glass Knight. Taken down. Easy. Man. That was fucking silly. <laughs> anyway, here we are after the Looking Glass Knight. There's a nice chest over here. I can't remember what it has. Oh man, and now I'm remembering the order of the places we're going to. Soul Bolt, Spell Quartz Ring uh, is a like magic resistant ring, and a bonfire aesthetic that ascends a, an area to New Game Plus. But anyway, I'm remembering that uh, the area we're moving into is actually my least favorite in the entire game. It is like total 100% bullshit garbage. I hate this place so much. Probably gonna die more here than in the rest of the Let's Play combined, if I had to guess. But, uh, you know, hopefully that's not the case. We'll see. Man, look at my souls. I, I need 90 more to have 69,000. It's too bad I can't get that exactly from consumable soul items. I'm not sure. I could get 50 more, and then I would need 40, and I'm not sure where to get that. What enemy drops 40 souls? I'm not sure. Anyway... We're going to move through this tree rooty area to the next bonfire, and uh, we're going to go level up in Majula, and then that'll be the end of this episode. And next time, we'll check out this beautiful looking but fucking horrible place. Is it? Oh, I thought that was where the hut was supposed to be. I was really confused. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and light the bonfire, teleport to Majula. Any day now. And we're one area away now, um, hopefully two videos away, from getting a better staff, and then we'll be able to use some resonant souls and stuff, and that'll be awesome. Let's go ahead and speak with this lady. We'll level up and get this up to 20, or as close as we can get anyway. So that'll bring us up to 95 agility, and at 20 we should have roughly 100, which is enough to dodge most attacks and should be totally fine. Uh, already I was noticing a difference on the Looking Glass Knight, being able to dodge some of his attacks that I wouldn't normally be able to. But anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode of Let's Play Dark Souls 2. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time when we head into the Shrine of Amana, I think. Amana, yeah, something like that. My least favorite area in the entire game. So I'll see you guys then.